Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be a part of the Wonder the Sea series for my daughter's first birthday coming up in less than two weeks. And today we are going to be putting all of her favors together. So obviously this is an under the sea theme. And when I was trying to come up with different favor ideas, I came across these really cute little seashells from a place online called efavormart.com. I got a handful in white and then I got even more in the clear. I'm actually kind of wishing I got them all in clear, but that's okay. They still both go with the color palette of her party. Um, they were both on clearance, so they were super cheap, but then also they're kind of cheap quality material. So I'm not completely thrilled with them. They, if you look closely, you can tell they're even supposed to like lock, but they don't, they don't stay closed. Um, and even like, I guess this one's kind of okay, but I noticed a lot of them still had like a lot of plastic around the edges that needed to be trimmed off. So just FYI, e favor marks so far, not my favorite. Anyways. I got this from them. If they still have it available, again, these were clearance, but if they're still available, I'll be sure to link them down in the description below. And at first I was just going to nix the whole seashell idea because they don't close. My original idea was just to do like little white mints in them. And I was like, I guess I could still do that and, you know, wrap it around with a ribbon. But no, me and my sister were brainstorming and we're nixing that idea. We want to turn it into more of like a pearl kind of oyster shell idea. So we're going to keep them open and what we're using as the pearl is going to be a whole bunch of little Ferrero Rochers. It's so hard not to try and eat all of these. So for this project, we're going to be using tape, some glue dots, scissors. These are the seashells that I ordered from E Favor Mart. And then I have this really cool iridescent tablecloth from the Dollar Tree. It was actually $2, but it's a pretty and decent size. So I have that. And this was just part of some packaging that I have kept from Layla's gift. Um, we're gonna be using that as a little bit of padding. And then of course we have our Ferrero Rochers. So the first thing we're gonna do is cut these into strips and little squares cutting into thin strips. It doesn't have to be precise, we're just folding it up anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much what size it is. And then I'm going to fold it in half, give it another little snip, and then fold it in half again. So we're working with this size for these little foam sheets. I have a whole bunch pre-cut already. And then we're going to cut our film. So for this one, we're, we want to make sure that the squares that we're going to cut is at least bigger than our seashells. So I'm just using this as a little template. What's cool about this tablecloth is that if you can see, there's actually this really cool pattern on it. So it kind of works as a grid. Um, so I'm just going to use that to help me cut it's kind of a straight line. But same thing with this, it doesn't need to be perfect. It's just gonna be kind of wadded up anyways. We're gonna fold this in half. Give it a little snip. Fold this in half. Cut it again. And then I'm gonna fold it into, I'm gonna cut it into thirds just eyeballing it. So now we're gonna put it together. We have our shell, we're using the clear one. We're gonna take our foam sheet, fold it in half, and then fold it in half again. And then we're gonna place it inside our iridescent film. So I'm just gonna take all four corners and bring them towards the middle. Then we'll use a piece of tape to hold it down. And then we're going to grab another piece of tape and we're going to roll it so it's sticky on both sides. And here you can kind of play with the film so it's not so box shaped. You can kind of pull it in a little bit more 
and then have some of the other edges sticking to this double-sided tape now. Then we're gonna flip it and that's gonna be how we stick this little iridescent cloud pillow into our shell. Just like that. And if you still have, you know, like corners kind of sticking out, you can just play with it and then tuck it in. Now we're gonna get our Ferrero, take off the brown wrapper, and we're gonna add a glue dot to the bottom. Obviously, make sure that your chocolate is still covered with the, the gold wrapper completely. You don't wanna put a glue dot straight onto your chocolate. Then we're just gonna center this into our shell. We'll peel off this Ferrero Rocher sticker and then we're gonna add one more glue dot and instead of being directly on top, we're actually gonna stick it kind of to the top back of the, our Ferrero. And once that's on there, we can just close our seashell so it's nice and tight. And there we have it. I love the way that they came out. Surely it was a little bit of a learning process. I had to kind of tweak some things here and there. I filmed one run and then realized that I did it upside down and it was just like completely wonky. And after I did like 10 of them, I realized that the Ferrero Rocher sticker on the top was like coming off of the Ferrero. So even though I put a glue dot, the glue dot would stick to the sticker. And then those, only the glue dot and the sticker would stay to the top of the shell. And then it would still disconnect from the actual Ferrero in the bottom of the shell. So I had to go back and remove those stickers and then refilm showing you to remove the stickers also. Um, but anyways, we got them done. They're so, so cute. I still need to create a fun display for these guys. But that is it for the favors. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. If you love them, go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and that notification button so you can be sure to see how it all comes together in the end. You're going to want to see it, so make sure you subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.